So today I have been to Heron Foods and I thought that I would show you what I got. Hello and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Joanne and on this channel we do videos about food shops like this one, we do charity shop videos, we do vintage videos, we do food waste and too good to go bags and we try to get in wherever possible a little bit of travel and adventure. Hello, hope everybody's well. So yes, been to Heron Foods, a new to me Heron Foods actually, one that a subscriber goes to. My local one is a bag of tat. I can't stand it. I don't like it. It's not a good shopping experience. But he said, well, I think he did, he implied anyway, that the one that I visited today was quite good. And it is. It is very good. It's very big. It's very spacious. It's very airy. It's actually quite a nice, pleasant shopping experience. I did make a mistake, however. And the mistake I made was taking Drew in. Now, if you don't know who my children are, Drew is my nine, nearly 10 year old. And he walked around the shops with his own, he walked around the shop rather, with his own basket, declaring how fantastic the deals were. Four for a pound, two for a pound, 69 pence each. So, <laughs> how I have actually set these groceries up because I bought that much, I've had to weigh it out. I've put them, how Drew bought and what he chose and then the stuff that I bought and also we've got a little section of what I went in for because there was a reason why I went in today and that reason is watching Faye J's recent Heron Food video. I probably shouldn't have done it because whenever I go to Heron Foods I never buy anything decent, there's no, nutri no nutritional value in any item that I've got to show you today other than probably one thing that's got a bit of protein in it. So it is not a healthy haul. If you're here to watch healthy grocery shopping, please turn off now. That was just a little warning for you. So yeah, Drew had his own trolley because as soon as I put some things in, I realized we were gonna need to have to double up. And then after that, it all went to shit basically because he was that excited to be able to see all these deals so you'll see, you'll see what he chose and um, you'll see what I found. The new things that I've found that I've never really tried before. What I went in for was some cans of soda that I have bought from Ocado before. A big price difference, let me tell you, a big price difference. So let me flip you around and let me show you what I got. Right, so we're gonna start with what I went in for then we're gonna have a look what I came out with because there's a massive difference. I went in for these, these four things. There were four left, so I thought I will have them because pound a box. Mm -hmm. A cardo, about one pound 25 a can. Don't quote me on that, but it's well over a pound. One can, one pound 25, or a box for a pound for a heron. So this is why I went. This is what I saw on Faye's video and I thought, aha, I'm going and I'm having those. Now, they've got no sugar in, they've got no sweeteners in. So they're only sweetened by kind of raspberry and hibiscus or rhubarb and apple. So for quite a few people, I would imagine that they can hardly taste anything. However, I don't like the sugar and I don't like the sweetener. So for me, it is quite a nice fizzy treat. So there we go, that's what I went in for. Now this, this is everything I came out with. And this little lot here, this is what Drew chose on his, woohoo, four for a pound, three for a pound, two for a pound, best day ever. Yeah, car as well. So let me talk you through what we got. We've got three fruit shoots. Bearing in mind, my kids mainly drink water or will make milkshakes at home. So three fruit shoots, three for a pound, milkshakes. He said, woohoo. Four for a pound, I'll get four of each. So I said, no, just get a mixture. What's your favorite? He said, banana. So he said, I'll get four banana and then I'll get four strawberries. So I just told him, right, get four chocolate as well then because we might as well now, are you? So we've got all those milkshakes and these will not be drunk in a week. They will take over a week to go through these. And then we got, can I get a Fanta for Neve and a Fanta for Dad, seeing as the two for a pound? Yes. Can I get a Dr Pepper for me and a Dr Pepper for Reese, seeing as they're two for a pound? 
I am glad the shop was empty. I hate these. I hate these. I don't like these. However, three for a pound, don't get them very often. And then he got himself some sweets. No idea how much those were. And he wanted a car. I think they're about £1.70 maybe. So that's everything that uh, Drew popped into his basket. Now over here, I had a little bit of fun because most of these things never tried before. Got Doritos, Burger King Flame, Flame Grill de Whopper. They were expensive, about £1.75ish. Wouldn't buy them for that price normally. Um, but because I wanted the kids to try them, see what they were like, I just took the hit and got them. I bought these for me to try because they're quite high protein. Lentil chips, maple bacon taste. They were a quid. I don't know, 17% fat. That's probably quite high fat, actually, but I don't know. 13% protein. These were four for a pound. And this I got for Darren and Reese to try, just to see. It's now about an 80 gram bar, I think. 85 gram bar. They were 79 pence each and 30% um, less sugar. No artificial sweeteners. So I thought, right, you get those and you can try them. And then I picked these up because they looked attractive. They're a mixture of uh, white, dark and milk chocolate buttons. It's a 150 gram bag and they were about 75 pence. And it is quite a hefty bag. Lots of sugar in there. It says all natural ingredients. However, let me zoom, get you right in there. Can you see how much sugar's in that? 48.6, that's per 100 grams. So there's like, what is there? 75 grams of sugar in that bag. Sorry if you don't watch your sugar, but I'm a bit obsessed. However, I picked two up anyway. They've got a decent date on them, June 2023. And as we all know, we could go past it. Pick these up for Drew, 65 pence each. Actimil immune support, just as a yogurt drink, strawberry and banana. These balsamic vinegar and caramelised onion sensations were a pound for a 150 gram bag. And then they have these banged in cheeseburger flavour for a quid. So I thought, why not? Get them to pick, you know, for when we're going out for lunches because we do a lots of trips out. So it's just handy to have them. <clears throat> They're not... For anything specific i will hide them and then get them out when i need to get them out and then these were three for a quid these are ice iced tea drinks straw three strawberry flavors and three peach oh mango sorry mango flavors what is the volume on that does it tell you 300 mils i've got this for need to try really because she likes a boba tea and that so i thought oh get them as a treat some peas, these were, these were expensive for £1.50 for a small bag. Mozzarella pesto pizzas, they were, hmm, I think they were about £1.25 uh, each. I think they are the restaurant pizzas, aren't they? So that were a good price. A pack of broken brownie biscuits. You're not going to really be able to see them, I don't want to open them. But I've bought these as a dessert alternative for ice cream and brownies. Thought it's nice and easy, just get a few out, defrost them, and then um, they can have some ice cream or we can warm them up, whatever. They can go with the lemon meringues because we haven't had all lemon meringues we got from Aldi. So um, beef dripping chocolate cup chips, these were nearly three quid. And then this honey, honey glazed gammon joint that I'm gonna go do for dinner. This was, mm, this were a fiver, that is everything. I got. So as I said, there's not really anything with any health benefits in there. It's very, very different to my other shops, isn't it? Um, but it is what it is. I, sh I just shouldn't have watched that video and then I would have never known that these cans of pop were on offer for a quid and um, then me and Drew would have never ever gone and I'd have never ever had all this stuff in my house but hey ho it's just like when you go into B&M or Poundland you're always coming out with loads of stuff that you never went in for but the one thing that I will say about heron foods and people might not agree and it's okay because we can all have we can all have our own opinion can't we is I don't think it's a brilliantly priced shop 
don't get me wrong, when you shop the outsides and you shop the offers like this, then you're gonna get a really good deal. But some of the prices, some of the frozen things, it's cheaper, it's cheaper elsewhere. Even uh, Warburton's Crumpets, they were, maybe they might have been about £1.20 or something like that. And I paid 90 pence in Aldi the other day for Warburton's Crumpets. So it's a bit like that, isn't it? If, you, if you're gonna go and just buy your regular everyday stuff, I don't think it's, um, it's definitely not any cheaper in my opinion. But when you're shopping the deals, obviously, you're gonna save yourself some money if you need those things. I've just cost myself 40 odd quid because I didn't need any of this. I just wanted pop. <laughs> but it will all get used. And uh, as I said, we are doing lots of days out, picnics, educational trips and meets. So I'm gonna use it all. I just got to hide it, otherwise it will go very, very quickly. Cause as I've said before, can't really have sugar in the house because psh, it gets eaten. The sugar hunters come out to play. Look at these. these lentil crisps. How much? So per 30, see, per 30 grams, you get 1.1 grams of fiber, which is nothing. 1.8 grams of sugar, five grams of fat, 140 calories, 3.9 grams of protein. Compared to, I'm just gonna bob off camera. How much protein's in these? Per, so it's 1.9 per serving to uh, 3.9. So you're getting double protein in something like this, which if you're wanting a snack, if you're gonna go out on a picnic and you want something crunchy, then that's probably gonna be a better, um, a better thing for me, as long as they taste okay. So we try them. Mm. Oh, we just, mm -hmm. my battery's going down. They're nice. Mmm. They have two flavours. Maple bacon or sour cream and chive, I think, for a pound. Get loads in them. Very nice. You need to try them. If you shop at their own food, even if you don't like lentils, you can't tell that they're lentils. Red lentil flour, 42%. Give them a try. They're nice. Right. I'm going to bob off. Put all this stuff away before the frozen stuff melts and uh, make the kids some food. More importantly, I hide all this stuff. Otherwise, it's not going to be a right good time. Right. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye.